Hey guys, um, been a couple days since I've uh, recorded and played, been kind of busy, uh, been kind of, I found it pretty hard to get a um, couple matches in. Um, so this is just a replay of a match um, against Pathfinder17. Um, this is on Altai. Um, and it's a pretty quick match, and we'll do another match after this as well, because it's also pretty quick. Um, against the bats, I usually like to do some sort of rush. So I'm still kind of trying to figure out what exactly I'm going to do in terms of my build over here. Pretty sloppy. I start cutting down this tree, and then I stop, and I don't commit to it, and I collect food instead. Um, and I go back to collecting wood onto the tree, so kind of hopping around everywhere in terms of my build order. Um, this one sheep over there. He goes to the side here to pick up sheep. He's got safe back goal. I mean, it's not safe, but it is a back goal, which does give some safety for sure. Front berries, um, and he's got a front stone as well here. Um, let's see, he's picking up here. Sheep. And we're picking up along the side here. So we both have gone um, one one scout. Yeah, he's just going straight to villagers. And um, he's on 10 eco, and we are on 9 eco. Yeah, so there's always a little bit of a discrepancy um, against your opponent in terms of your villagers. Khan is scouting out down here. Um, we're gonna rally till we have about eight on. Food. So I had scouted his front stone, and um, he's scouting around here. We're scouting around down here. We're gonna catch these sheep before he does. He does end up picking up a sheep for me here. Okay. Yeah, beat him to these sheep here. So after I collect 90 wood, sending one villager up to build a tower. Uh, there's these two front stones, so I'm going to build a tower that can kind of defend both of them. I do see his scout here. He's got a nice sheep haul. He's got five. You know, going to pick up a couple more, three more. She's going to get a pretty good haul of sheep. Um, you can see our tower... It basically the range on it, um, I don't know if it shows it, it doesn't show it, but we can basically cover this stone, half of it, and cover this half of the stone, once we get an upgrade on it, our arrow sets will be able to cover both these stones with this tower, which is nice, um, it's not going to slow down his age yet, or his unit production, but it is going to affect his, um, his, uh, second TC time. So after we drop out the sheep, we're going to go scout around the side and see what we can see. We miss all these sheep that he has picked up. He gets nine sheep. We've got five there. Um, what I should have done, or could have done, is I could have finished scouting this side. There's still a couple sheep to pick up over here. One more sheep on that hill. Um, yeah, he had scouted that, so there's a couple sheep here and there left. Looks like he's going to grab most of them, actually. Let's find his vision. Yeah, he's going to find this one. And he's done a good job of scouting the map. He hasn't seen my TC, but he has seen my, my, my gold mine. And he got 10 sheep with his... Uh, uh, gra his um, <clears throat> with this scout, so that's pretty good. So we did build one scout on our build, so we could um, have a guy in this tower, just in case he pushed it. Um, so we could get some arrow damage out. Then we can finally see some. Once I get the arrow slits upgrade, we'll co cover this one, but completely, and we'll cover this. Here, once we get arrow slits, we do have an idle villager up here who's going to build a tower. And we're tapping up. Four villagers on deer stones, and he has aged up already. We've got four on wood, two on gold, and six on food. So it's a fairly balanced build. But we want to get a little bit more onto wood, so we can start getting our infrastructure up. 
We have plenty of wood here, so we do see this back gold. So we're going to build a tower over there just to kind of um, slow down that gold, that second gold. But um, even more importantly, it's going to give us a good set, a good bit of vision on the back side of his map, uh, of his base. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's going to give us good vision on the back side of his base. Um, there is also a deer hunt here, so we can kind of affect this one and this one a little bit. And we're also affecting this wood line, so... So yeah, definitely going to be in a tower that he's going to have to deal with. And um, we do find another big stone deposit, berries, and deer here too. So, um, the rally, we're, we've stopped at six villagers on wood, and we're rallying our other villagers onto food. And now that we're going to finish that, oh, the other two are going to drop on our archery range. Uh, start cranking out Magadai. We are going to get um, arrow sets here shortly too, I'm sure. So we're kind of scouting around here a little bit more. As soon as we miss those deer, he must have picked those up. Yeah, he's got it out down here, so he did pick up those two sheep. So he's kind of happy where he's at. Um, we're getting arrow sets now, yeah, on both of these. And we're going to send this villager up and around to this other stone deposit. If we shut off these stones here, the next stone that he might go to is um, one in the back. So we can see that he's expanding over onto these deer. He's just finishing his berries here. And honestly, we probably could have gone. Uh, another tower right here instead and forced them over but it wasn't a big deal I felt like this was far enough that we could raid he got a nice military mass too if he had started to build a tower there uh, he sends his scout over we do see it and pick him off so we do get three sheep which is nice because we were starting to run out of sheep here and um, we are producing mangadai so we got a couple mangadai out and we're going to take our scout to scout the rest of the map and we have it scattered over on this side. And, uh... Yeah, we're gonna start looking at harassing him. He's sending a villager over. So, the villager's getting shot at. He's trying to build a wall over there. We're able to take out the villager. So that's kinda nice, just taking out one villager. While we're dropping this tower over here, we are going to see that he's building a, a, a wall on this side. So he's walling in his sides. It's a pretty smart move. Um, at the same token, we're up to four Mangadai now. We're going to start raiding. Um, we did kind of delay that. We have gotten a wheelbarrow as well. And we've rotated nine villagers over onto a mobile curve for food. And only five villagers onto sheep at the base here. Kind of keeping that a slow trickle. I got double production still coming out. And we're raiding here a little bit. Looks like we misclicked a little bit. The Mangadai stayed out of uh, out of range here. So we're going to regroup with the other Mangadai. And his archer mass that he's got here, six archers, it's a nice mass. Um, they're going to get a little bit picked off uh, with this tower, which is nice. So we're able to kill one. You can see that range on the tower once that air slits is up. It's pretty crazy. Um, so he's building a palisade gate and um, a mill here. And we're attacking it. And we get free resources there too. So this was kind of that, that plus of expanding here and finding these berries because we knew where his next food expansion was going to be kind of. We knew, I mean, we had the deer here and we're kind of covering it. So now he's um, cranking out some bams. He does have a lot of sheep here to transition into, so now he's kind of forced onto these sheep, which is good for us. Um, so it's allowing us to have a little bit of map control here. You can the vision. We have vision of almost his entire base. Um, we do raid him a little bit here, building those bams. We get his villagers off of food. Um, get his villagers off of food. We show the resources that you guys can kind of see. Um, and, uh, we're doing damage to these, uh, these spearmen. 
pretty decent damage. We're not losing any Mangadai, and our tower is focusing on these archers. That's really the stopping our Mangadai raids right now is these archers. Um, behind this, we are able to age up at 952. So that's pretty nice. Um, so we only went with six Mangadai, and we're just going to pull them all the way around. We're going to want to push through here again. Um, we did see him push in here. We are able to pick off a Camel Archer, which is a, kind of a big mistake on his part. And a Spearman here was able to die. So a couple of real nice little picks there. Um, we do going to send a scout up and around to see what he can see. We've dropped a second tower up here just to stabilize um, this position. So since he's got a ram out. And we are going up with the curl tie. So on this map, there's a decent amount of gold. Well, there's also fairly safe trading on the map, so um, we can do quite a bit of trading um, if we need to. So we see the villagers, we're sending a scout over, we're going to lose our scout. Uh, he's dropping another ram, and he's kind of prying us here, so we'll go on to our vision now, just so you can kind of see what we in terms of his army. We do notice his army is here, pushing us with six spearmen. We're dropping another stable. That Castle Mage definitely want a stable. He's not close to the castle, which is big. I figured he was um, somewhere close to it, but I see actually now that he was superly invested into gold a little bit too heavy. So we were going to go try and um, see what we could see up here on this wall. We knew a villager was going over there, so we wanted to see if it was a big wall. You know, might have gone down over here or something like that. So we're just going to see where the wall is. We didn't see this wall. Um, fully built so we're just gonna check it out see what happened maybe he's got an idle villager there you know make it a free pick or something so we're just checking it out real quick and uh, it is completely closed off so there are no villagers so we, we just peel back um, we have no vision on his his army two arrow slits in his back uh, position which is nice our villager that was building this was killed by a wolf um, we don't realize this until a little bit later um, we have a market set up on this corner. Villagers are finishing off the deer here, and um, getting the horseman upgrade. And we should be starting to get um, knight production going. So yeah, they're getting double knights right now. So here we see his army pushing forward. He's got 12 units, 12 spears, seven archers, five archers, two. Archers. So he picks out those two mangadai real quick. Um, we garrison these gold villagers so we're getting some damage in and uh, kill these villagers to keep mining, I believe. And he takes on that Uvo pretty pretty quickly. So the big thing is with this curl tie, we're getting this constant healing, which is pretty nice. Um, we figured that his rams were going to push us, so we're just going to come pulling back. We were able to delay his push enough. Knights out. And we lose a villager here. But not end of the world against this push. Um, we should probably cancel this night and we're pulling these villages. Uh, they're gonna build a tower back here. Uh, we're gonna pull, the pull these villagers and send these knights in. Um, here I wanted to kind of commit into fighting here. We dropped the, the defense arrow so my villagers are tanky. Um, Yeah, my villagers are tanky. They should be plus two right now. My knight, my, my knight is tanky, and my my mangadies are tanky for a little bit here. So we're able to kind of clean up this army. The garrison damage too was helping quite a bit, um, and so we're able to really just fully mop out his army here. So we do lose an uvu, but it's not um, crippling infrastructure damage, so it's pretty bit nice. Um, we also have a stone deposit back here still, so this Uber was kind of running out anyways. So we're going to send this villager back here to drop um, an Uber back here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to push up and forward here and see what we can see. We do see his, his army is just chilling here with these uh, rams. We have upgraded our manga and veteran now, and he's looking to age up now. And we're going to be able to fully clean up this army now, which is really big. Because without this army, um, now we're free to free to roam with our raids. There's this tower here. 
Um, we do commit to kind of burning it down. Again, he cancels it, which made our lives 100% easier because we definitely didn't need to <clears throat> stay there. We probably just should have been raiding straight across here. And uh, we see his wood line full of villagers. He pulls his villagers. It's so close to the TC, that's why they want to run there. But it seemed like just the threat of our guys to close made him pull his bills. As you can see, they were pulled. We're sending them back now. Let's go back to my vision, and we're rotating back in. Right wing's dropping a tower. And we have brought um, our knights in. We've got a couple knights. Rotize a little bit forward. Um, stable is dropping units. And so he does get the tower down, but we've killed a bunch of villagers here. Killed a whole bunch of villagers. So that's going to kind of send him back. And he hasn't gotten the second TC up yet, but he is um, aging up. And he has sent a ran over to, to re-style re his position here, which is a smart move. From producing, villagers finishes that deer patch and they're over on this berry patch. And um, upgrade for our arrows. Archery range both going. Um, we kind of sacrificed these knights here, kind of a misplay on my part. I 100% thought I just should have pulled these back instead of trading out. Not a favorable trade by any means. But at this point, we have a pretty strong position here with these Mangadai holding, and we're going to take a little bit more ground. We're going to take the midpoint um, with the sacred site um, with the cruel tie, and start kind of dropping. We just start cranking out army. Um, did pull a couple horsemen to chase off this battering ram, but it was a little too late. They were able to break down both of those. And, uh, oh yeah. We built a prayer tent and he's going to drop a tower here just to give a little bit of boost. Um, prayer tent is routed onto this relic and we'll come back here shortly. He is... Castle Age, collecting a lot of gold. He's got plenty of food. Two barracks. And she's building camel archers and archers. Camel archers are pretty pricey. Yeah, 180 food, 60 wood. Yeah, they are pretty expensive. And he is starting to build some men at arms too, so we're gonna give some tankiness to his army that he definitely needs. That being said, um, a lot of time has passed. I know his castle, he's aging up, he's expanding, so I'm gonna push here again. I'm gonna take out another villager, and we're able to kind of kite his army a little bit here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of damage. Here. The thing is, we're rallying here now. And we're also getting our cavalry production pretty much online. Um, we are sending these horses around the side here to deal with this gate. Put a little bit of pressure on the side. Hopefully split his forces somewhat. And if not his forces, split his attention. So we're able to snipe out those villagers um, on building this tower, which is pretty big. He kind of misclicked with two of them and sent them to attack us. So now he's committing more villagers. At this point, he's lost four villagers trying to get this tower up. So it's, um, it's a little detail, but it's, it's definitely helpful and kind of equalizing things. His archers are also not aging up. And he's no upgrade for his archer going up either. Um, you can tell here our blacksmith is. We still got to get our upgrades, our level 2 upgrades. Priest is coming out, or the shaman. Um... Eight Mangadai, a couple knights, and right night production, we got three knights coming out of the stables. So the, the stables are fully producing right now, and we're rallying villagers onto wood. We do have um, 14 on, or sorry, villagers onto food, and we have 14 villagers on wood. So if 14 villagers on wood, uh, we're able to keep pretty much one villager just constantly building um, construction. Here, we're going to build three more ranges now. Um, just to make sure we got plenty of uh, Mangadai to, to deal with uh, his army. We got 10 Mangadai here, and we've got 5 knights on the side here. We finished burning down this, um, we were able to pick off this um, villager, which is nice. He sent a pair. Um, we are sending this villager. The villager's going to kill this um, guy, and he's going to drop another tower here, just in case. He sends, you know, he's able to push us back. See... 
this gold is starting to run out, and he's starting to trade with a trader. Um, we find his army here, we drop our defense again, um, as you can see, plus 3 armor. It's only for a little bit, and it drops off. And uh, we're able to kill, uh, you know, pretty much this uh, archer, um, foot archer line that he has. And we do a little bit of damage to the camel archers as well. But the big thing is, is killing those archers, we're able to deal with him in terms of range pretty well. And um, we do see a bunch of villagers running around the back here. I wonder where he was going. Hmm. Anywho. He does surrender um, at this point, but... Yeah, we had killed a ton of villagers, and behind this, um, our infrastructure was really coming online and starting to kick, so um, we gave him to our opponent, just kind of uh, early resource denial, and kind of making him uh, stop those towers, reclaim those resource positions, and uh, stopping that first push. You know, he almost, he definitely overcommitted into that first push, um, into stopping us here. Um, this next match is against France. We're playing against Bobo 30 plus. And this is on the pit. Which is um, a fun map. It's an interesting map. So I kind of mess up my beginning. And just do nothing. I was looking for where to put my TC. I was looking for my bold. It's way down here. Um, so we're sending the TC over by the the stone. Um, pretty important to have the stone safe and it's close to the wood line. Um, I prefer that versus our TC out here with this island of wood and gold. Um, we're sending a con over to collect sheep and whatnot. He sent his con or his scout over, and uh, he's actually got two scouts out. Which is good. And we can see he's got back gold or backstone front gold. We'll go back here. So now that I've spotted his gold, that was basically the only thing I was gonna do. I'm gonna collect up into a hundred wood and then send a villager over to uh, just cast a uh, castle rush, a uh, tower rush uh, his gold position here. Um, I did not want to deal with it. Um, I only send one villager, so it's not a true committal. It's just kind of like. Kind of harassing him, um, what he's doing, you know, if his scouts are out of place, he's going to have to pull them back. Um, unfortunately for me, both of his scouts are actually pretty much right there and able to react almost instantly. Um, if I had pulled perhaps five villagers, those five villagers and done it, that might have been a, also a viable move to shut down the gold. But um, as you can see, I mean, here's another gold way over here, so... This would be a temporary shutdown and a lot of commitment of my resources. So probably a good thing I didn't. It's, you know, it's always hard to kind of tell um, what is a better move. So we're still rallying villagers on food. Now that we've got eight on the food, we will change our villagers over onto um, gold. He spots out our he spots out our villager here with his scout, and his other scout's coming here. So that's what I mean when we start building here. And just immediately immediately attacking us. So I look at it, I kind of gauge it, you know, this village is going to be taking quite a bit of damage. We're just going to pull back. We're not going to try to even put it up anymore. And we're not going to slow down his age up time, so we're just going to cancel that, bring this villager back. We'll end up dropping a tower here to defend from his push. We're still, we're still, we haven't really affected our age of time, um, age of timing that much, so we'll be fine to deal with his, uh, the, the knight presence. Um, we dropped off a decent amount of sheep here. See, we got six, and we're picking up a couple more over here. I think we pick up another ones over here. Yeah, there's three sheep left over here. Yeah, so there's three sheep, three sheep left over here. He's coming with this scout. So, I'm glad you comes back. That hundred wood that we mined, we're just gonna drop the outpost over here. Our own gold. Really. And we got plenty of villagers here onto onto food. And now that we got ten on food, we are rotating the rest of our villagers onto uh, wood. So he's able to pick up the one the one sheep down here, and we pick up the two over here. 
It's a decent trade. And uh, he is starting to tap up his landmark now. And we're tapping up now here too. So we're tapping up with four villagers. And he's also tapping up with four. So she's going to have a pretty much um, the exact same uh, age of times. The only thing is he's going to have French Knights being pumped out immediately. And we're going to have 15, 20 second delay on getting the archery range up. And then getting out our Mangadai. The plus being we can double produce. We do see his scout over here. We do take, uh, we react a little bit late. He garrisoning in and killing him. Um, but we the issue is that, or the other thing unfortunate is our colonists way over here. Come up over to pick up the sheep. There is another sheep down here. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he sends a scout over on a mission. Yeah, he's sending a scout over to pick him up. Somehow or another, the scout misses it. It must have just gotten a little tight. I don't know. Rallying onto wood. Go four on wood, so we want to get up to around six, seven, eight villages onto wood. He runs down here. He grabs this one sheep. And. I don't know how he doesn't grab that sheep. So that game kind of like bugged out there, and it didn't grab that other sheep. And then. Get my con. Chasing after him, and he's doing a bad job of chasing after him with my con. I lose him in the vision just like for a split second, and uh, he survives with one HP. So kind of unfortunate we, we kind of lost that one sheep there, but I did see he only had one sheep, and I knew there was two. So I'm going back to try to find this other one. We're dropping our archery range, and he is producing knights. No? Let's see his vision real quick. He is just, yeah, just now producing knights. So he's a little bit late, for sure, on his knight production. So his uh, eco is a little bit off, because um, he's not producing knights immediately. Get seven villagers onto wood, and we stop there. And our one villager here is going to drop a stable. And we are double producing our Mangadai again. Our Mangadai production was also a little bit late and delayed. Now both both was kind of a slight misplace here. Um, we got seven sheep here, so we got still a good amount of food here. Um, but we do have ten villagers on food. I'm only gonna go up a few more, and then we're gonna start pulling them. Our Kansi's out here. Uh, scout survives, and we do see this French knight, and we're just going to finish scouting up here. We haven't seen it, so we're going to finish scouting, and we're also going to get a good idea of what um, his gold and his base looks like. Um, we do have our first group of Mangadai up, though, so we should be able to pick up this scout fairly easy. Um, you can see a couple more knights in queue, and another knight out here already. Uh, he's chasing me with one. He's got another knight out. So over here, a little bit of a misplay, um, his knight runs into ours, and we're just going to peel these Mangadai back, and garrison these bills, and we're going to do a ton of damage to this knight. Um, over here we've dropped our blacksmith, still producing villagers, uh, we're micring over here. Again, I should garrison these villagers a little bit sooner, but we do get the pick off anyways. Um, Legend production has been down for three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're getting upgraded on our air, so our villager production was down about eight seconds, which is kind of a big deal. It's about half a villager we lost out against French. It's a pretty big deal since they produce villages faster than us anyways. So we catch them one charge directly, and we're trying to bring our Khan to meet up with these Mangadai, and we find out that he's got um, three, a three knight mass, and he's, he's also getting chivalry pretty early. It's actually kind of something that kind of helped us, in a sense, because it allowed us, it allowed us to catch up to his mass of knights. And suddenly his mass of knights isn't kind of just growing faster than we can deal with it.
make it slow down a little bit because of this uh, chivalry. So it's like, um, chivalry is one minute and the knight is 30, 20 seconds, so, or 29 seconds. So it's basically two, two knights worth that we're able to kind of deal with. So one kind of crappy thing about the knights is cats you chasing, you want to send that charge animation. Um, even though they're technically the same speed or slower, they will catch you when they're charging. Um, over here, we got 16 villagers on to food. So we still got a good amount. I also knew I had a decent amount of villagers on our sheep left, so I wasn't too worried about the sheep running out. And you can see here we have a lot of a lot of wood infrastructure going, and our uh, we do kind of a little bit of a run by here. We see he's got stone getting mined. Um, he's got wood getting mined. And, uh, we got an upgrade for our horsemen, and we're gonna start producing. Um, we're producing mangadai, and we're producing um, villagers here. So we're able to kill a couple of villagers here, and we're just kind of harassing his eco. We're not letting him get. Really comfortable here. Um, three archers aren't gonna be able to deal with um, six Angadai basically. Um, at the same time, behind this mine, so we're not able to kill a villager, but we're able to garrison them. And because of the time he was Mike doing there, we're able to run by his wood line and pick off another villager. And we're harassing his army here, massing horsemen again. So we're kind of getting good pressure going. We are producing uh, horsemen constantly. We are now double producing horsemen. So um, we're kind of committing to this fight here, which again was not the best move. Um, that was two horsemen, three horsemen that we could have saved. Um, wasn't necessary to fight there. But the plus side is he does trade two knights chasing our Mangadai, so that does make it worth and we still have about a 7 Mangadai mass, and we're going to just ball up horsemen here again. So we're just trying to pull these... Um, it's a little bit of a misplay right here, but we're just trying to pull these knights into our Mangadai, um, just by aggroing them. We have pulled our villagers down here, 7 of them, to start collecting. There's a, a 3 deer patch here, and then there's berries, decent source of food. Um, we are dropping pasture. And then we have a little bit of idle villager time here. Um, so we'll probably start pulling some villagers here soon to to build um, uh, pastures. And we're just taking our army up and around. We knew he was dropping town on gold. So we're going to kind of avoid that and we're going to hit his wood line. You know, archer production is a big thing that's going to be slowing us down. We can see in terms of wood. Had, or in terms of food we pulled ahead, so we're going to age up before he is. And we're able to pick off a couple of villagers here, three villagers. And we're just going to pull back, so I want to see the whole map. So yeah, he was just garrisoning these villas. Oh, okay, so he sends villas up here, so that was a good move on his part. I was going later. Um, at the same time, when he um, made him garrison here, we're going to hit with a little bit of a horseman raid. Um, this is five horsemen. It's enough to burn this down if there's no army there. It's just a, a, a garrison uh, tower. Um, we'll trade, but we will burn it down. So we're kind of just regrouping our army here. There was a, uh, these three Mangada that I just produced. So we're going to mass them up with these guys. So it's a 10 uh, cab archer mass. We are tapping up the step readout on this map. Um, this pretty small prototype would be useful, especially with these raids. You know, um, if he was able to heal these guys up, nice. But, um, yeah. We're just going to go with the stat reader for the secured gold production. You know, French has got such a strong eco. Um, I know we're getting good raids in, but you never know. So we pick up a villager. You see his villagers on the wood here. And he's pulling his villagers. And he's dropping a TC, I believe. Drop our movement speed arrow, and yeah, he's just dropping a TC. And you can tell he's got villagers here. 
But we're able to pick up one knight, and because we see this TC drop, we're gonna hit his um this tower here. So before he uh yeah, while he's dealing with us here and he's building this TC, we're gonna uh, shut down his gold basically. And we're gonna do some damage to these guys here. And right now we got a decent mass, and now we got our um, next A. So we're just gonna kind of burn this mining camp that's a little bit in range of his um, TC, but not too bad. Um, he does pull his villagers, and we do notice that the like the DPS was low enough that we can stay and burn this. We got a nice mass here. We got ten calves, and he's got three archers. Right. So we're gonna just dive his archers. We're able to pick off one of them. And we're just going to dive this TC and um, just raid his, or this, uh, these villagers. He's got 11 villas, so you're going to just try to buy this manga. Behind this, he did have these 8 villagers back here, and these villagers over here, so they're going to tap up a guild hall. Still trying to stay in the stay in the fight. Behind this, we've got um, 3 stables, ranges, um, prayer tent just went up. Um, five pastures, six pastures going down. Bigger. I did mess up by not moving this good over. And he does uh, tap out because we basically burned down this. All these villages were just getting murdered. So um, early aggression. Uh, we were able to kind of stop his, his French knight aggression. He didn't back it up with enough archers fast enough. And um, perhaps a tower on his wood line uh, was also needed. But um, yeah, just a couple of quick games, and um, again, sorry guys for the, the kind of the pause and the content. Uh, I will be trying to upload some new stuff. Um, on a separate note, um, the the new Sizz look pretty cool. That the Ottomans and the Malians. Um, we'll definitely hope to get some more info on them. And um, I have been playing uh, quite a bit of French and quick match uh i don't know probably got like five six matches i guess it's not quite a bit it's just a, a little bit of french playing five six matches of french um so hopefully here soon i'll be able to start getting you guys um uh some builds for um some other sieves and that type of stuff so again thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you on the next one